All right, and welcome back. So I couldn't decide what I was going to stream here on Tuesday, because Tuesday is always Nintendo Day. It's just something Nintendo really. And my roommate pointed out that there are new Mario Kart tracks to play. So that's what I'm going to do. So my goal here is to three star both these cups on 150 CC and 150 CC mirror and then give it a try at 200, but probably not, right? So let's go ahead and get this started. Now these are all older tracks, so I should at least be somewhat familiar with them. So there shouldn't be any big surprises. Uh, Mario Kart Tour, that's the mobile game, I believe. Oh yeah, I've definitely played this. I'm still... Um, a little unsure on what cart I like to do with this game. Sometimes I like a heavier character, sometimes a lighter character. It really, really depends on the, uh, the courses, you know, in front of it. For example, I think this setup, I think I got because I was trying to 200cc some courses with sand on them. So I needed something with more grip and heavier characters weren't working too hot. Alright. So to get three stars means I have to get first place in all three of the races. Which shouldn't be too awfully difficult to do. It's early 200cc where the trouble starts for me. It's so fast and trying to get around all those turns is is an issue. It's a real issue. That was nice. You know, when I played the Mario Kart 2 or the mobile one, the one that this course is from, I never once played with the sound on. So I never heard what the new courses sound like. I gotta say, this music's fringe, but if it fits the course, maybe I should correct my tone on that. It's not that fringe music is bad, but it's, it's not, you know, the normal Nintendo aesthetic musically to do fringe stuff. Alright, uh, blue shell incoming. Yeah. Second, third. What? No. Oh, no. Where's the finish line? I don't know where the finish line is. Where is the finish line? Crap. Come on. Mm, gotta start over. That's not a three-star run. Actually, you know, let's go through all the courses once first. Then I'll go back and try to do the whole three-star thing. Let's give each of these two passes. Uh, this is the one Mario Kart game I don't think I actually uh, played. The 3DS one, because I never had a 3DS. Completely missed that uh, generation of handheld. Went straight from... Oh wait, but this was in tour, so I guess I have played it. Went straight from an old launch, you know, old gray DS into um, the Switch, as far as handheld you know, in chronological order, goes. Oh, there is a whole debate among people on whether handheld, the Switch counts as a handheld. I think it's both. I think they just consolidated their handheld 
and console lineage into one line with it. Which makes sense from a development cycle standpoint. Instead of having to develop games for two systems on the market at once, they can focus on one. Alright, Blue Shell. Boop. This baby Rosalina is going to be a problem this entire time. I can just tell. Let's see here. Boom. Boom. Okay, this is good actually being somewhat familiar with these courses. I wonder what the process on that is. Um, you know, bringing these into the game. Because it's not like... Um, or at least I hope it's not like they can just copy-paste you know, the code and just redo the textures. Oh, Chocolate Mountain. I hope they kept the same uh, fog distancing that the N64 had. Ah, uh, they redid... Th this was my first Mario Kart game. It was Mario Kart 64. God, I love that game. Is that part of the... Um, N64 Switch Game Pack. If it is, I may have to bring that up at some point. Maybe get some uh, comedian friends of mine over here and do a game of Mario Kart 64. No. No. Absolutely not. Ah. Hello. Great username, by the way. Random Gamer. How are you? Does that name ever throw people off when you come into their chats? Like they don't know how to respond to that name? I can see that being a problem for some people. And not only is your username Random Gamer, it's Random Gamer 2583. I have smart steering on? Do I? I don't think I do. I'll have to check that between cups. Or can I check that now if I pause? Oh, I do have smart steering on. You are correct. Thank you. Oh, that feels better. I was wondering why I was kind of fighting it. Huh, the wonders of playing video games in front of strangers. <laughs> oh, that feels so much better. I find a lot of the, um... The assists they have... Are very unintuitive and probably aren't actually helpful for new people coming into the game. Neat. Oh, I wonder if I will have won the first, um, the first cup then, or the first race in the cup, rather. Ah, oh, whatever. We'll have time to go back through and do it. Yeah, but this is cool. I didn't. I had zero idea. Nintendo was putting more tracks out for Mario Kart 8. I guess it keeps them from having to develop anything for Mario Kart 9. Coconut Mall, one of, I would say probably one, if not the signature track from Mario Kart um, Wii. All the tracks are great. All, I haven't played them yet. This is literally a blind, well, blind as in playing them in Mario Kart 8. I played all these tracks somewhere else before, I'm sure.
I lost complete track of what I was saying. Ah, eh, whatever. But it's great to see graphically what they've done with the newer tracks, too, along with updating some of the sounds and the music and all that. So, uh, random gamer, have you played all the all the new tracks? I'm assuming you have. Otherwise, you won't be commenting on them. Yeah, nice. Uh, Koopa Cave is iconic for Mario Kart, even for those who haven't played Mario Kart. Koopa Cave, which one is that one? Which game was that one? Was that the ship one in Double Dash? Also, this is controversial among a lot of people, but Double Dash is my least favorite Mario Kart. And I just don't like how that game controls. No, which one is it? I might be getting my uh, tracks confused. There's so many Mario Kart games. Oh, oh come on, make it. I'm going to periodically just kind of go quiet to focus. There we go. Right, let's try that again. I think I can get three stars on that cup. Now that I have the smart steering off, thanks to this guy. The one with the underwater tunnel with the spinning electricity inside. Oh, that one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, that's a great track. I wonder if that's in this batch. I got two stars probably, right? Yeah, no, I need three stars. But now that I know smart stirring's off, I'll probably be able to get it, actually. Let's try this again. No, sadly. Well, maybe it'll be out here. Maybe they'll bring it back from one of these other future cups. Let's go for the Golden Dash cup again. I think I can get it. I think I can get it this time. Waluigi, Waluigi Pinball. That's a good one. Um, I love that they brought back TikTok Clock in the original release. That's easily one of my favorite tracks. And Moo Moo Meadows. Of course, if you want to go with Iconic N64 tracks. And N64's Rainbow Road specifically. I spent so many hours playing Mario Kart DS. I wonder if I sold that copy. No, I think I lent that copy out to someone in college and never got it back. All my records and everything are still on there because, you know, cartridge-based gaming. Wario's Coliseum. Yeah, another good N64. I didn't realize how easily you can cheat that course until I saw, oh, whoops, until I saw someone do it on YouTube, like how easily you can hop over the, um, the little barriers that separate out the track. Wait, double dash. Uh, what am I thinking of? Because there's a Wario track in uh, the N64 game. Because it's all muddy and it looks it looks really gross on, with the N64's graphics. Oh, this is so much easier with the smart assist off. Wario Stadium, you're right. Wario Coliseum. I didn't spend too much time with Double Dash because, like I said, I don't like how that game controlled. Felt slippery to me. Most of my Mario Kart time was either, well, probably DS if you add up the hours. 
followed by Mario Kart 8, followed by Mario Kart Wii. I've dabbled in all the other ones, but eh, whatever. And I can't go back to um, Super Mario Kart. This is a neat course. I like how it wraps in on itself a lot. Yeah, this is gonna be a... Hope we get Mushroom Gorge. But you are making me realize how much I don't remember so many Mario Kart courses. Mushroom Gorge, Mushroom Gorge. Toad's Factory is cool. I did like Toad's Factory. Mushroom Gorge. See, I know I played it. Unless it was like deep in Mario Kart 7. Then I probably didn't play it. Or if it wasn't in Mario Kart 2 or because I played a lot of uh, during 2020, I played a lot of Mario Kart Tour. Oh, that was a poor decision. It's in Wii in 7. You know, I'm just now realizing how long it's been since I played Mario Kart Wii. Once Nintendo shut down um, the online portion of that game, I had no reason to go you know, back to it. Bounce on mushrooms in a cave. Because, but not the one where you bounce on mushrooms in a cave and there's an electric eel, right? That's a different course. Because that one's in Mario Kart 8. I know, because that eel messes me up every time. Wait, wait, is it like there's two levels of mushrooms you can jump on? Like, there's an upper mushroom path and a lower mushroom path. And the mushrooms are really wide. Because I'm that I might be thinking of that. Yeah, yeah, okay, cool. Yes, I do remember that one. I had a friend that would, uh... He would, he would consume a certain legal in some stage drug, and we'd play a lot of Mario Kart. And that one, that one always screwed him up. No, that was a cool course. A lot of them are cool courses. Ooh, I, I I'm most of the way through getting a three, a three star, three star, three star, three star run. How good is this music too for? Uh, Chocolate Mountain. Uh, it's cool hearing all the music uh, brought back without the limitations of, you know, what the N64 could handle or what the SNES could handle. Or, you know, in a lot of cases, even what the GameCube could fire. Could fire. <laughs> I read your comment right in the middle of my sentence. Could handle. There has to be a banjo cover of this on YouTube somewhere, right? Someone's had to have done that. This course, um... It would, would kind of freak me out on the N64 one. Cause, and then they kind of eliminated it here. But there's a lot of, um... Fog. I'm assuming they did, so they didn't. You couldn't see the terrible draw distance, but that always made me a little anxious because I couldn't quite see what all was coming ahead. Oh, make it, make it, make it. Okay. There we go. Oh, I got. Oh, I thought I had a bigger lead than I had, and whatever. Those boulders sometimes get me. In the N64 version, they definitely got me a lot. But here they have it very clearly laid out where they're gonna fall. It's helpful. Okay, here come Blue Shell. 
Oh, and the bats were so much scarier. Oh, what was that Donkey Kong course in the N64 game? I wanted to bring that one back. I love that course. When I think Mario Kart, that's easily one of the courses that first come to mind for me. DK Jungle, I believe. DK Mountain, you're right. You're right. Ooh, one more and then I get do a perfect three-star run on this. Stuff must be moving around upstairs. I'm hearing Jungle Parkway, maybe? I want to say DK Mountain. It was what it was called. No, DK Mountain was GameCube. You might be right. It might be Jungle Parkway. Because I think DK Mountain was the one where you get shot out of the cannon. And that was like a big uh, graphical... I don't know what you'd call it. Like it was a thing Nintendo showed off a lot for the GameCube's processing, you know, capabilities. Or at least I remember it being in every commercial for that game. Granted, I was, what, maybe eight or nine years old when that game came out. So I don't remember super clearly. Ah, uh, Coconut Mall's a good one. Oh, crap. I didn't pick a direction, so I got the glass. Oh, okay. I need to stop just getting rid of my items all willy-nilly. I'm doing awesome at keeping my coin count up, though. I, I just got the strangest craving. For Regal Cinema Popcorn. They don't even do very good popcorn. N64 Jungle Parkway had a big jump. If you... If you went off the road, you got hit by a boulder. That's right. Yep. Yeah, that's the one I'm thinking of. That N64 one. Because I remember the road was real narrow. Am I really going to not get three stars on this? Because I made that one time mistake the last lap. I guess some blue shell shenanigans can still happen, but. And they had like monkeys or something throwing rocks at you too. Which is real strange. Okay, I got a chance. I got a shot. Nope. Ah, we'll come back to it. Alright, so if you're watching this live, don't go anywhere. We're going to keep moving on. But if you're watching this later on YouTube, the stream happens every Tuesday, Thursday on Twitch, YouTube, and Facebook. There's a link in the description that gets you to all those places. And next episode, we are going to do the other new cup. So I'll see you in the future. Would you please subscribe?